Hey guys, okay, so welcome to today's video. Today we have all of, I think it's all of Starbucks holiday drinks for 2021 and all of their treats. I'm trying to think, did I like not get anything? No, I did get everything. So, um, honestly, I don't even know where to start. We got like 10 items. Actually, we got 11 because one of the drinks, okay, well, they didn't mess up on it. I messed up on ordering it. But yeah, we're gonna get right in because honestly, the ice drinks are like melting too. So I'm just gonna go like right in and then we'll just like name them as we go. Ooh, that looks really good. Um, what do I wanna start with? I've been eyeing this. Honestly, I love, I think this is a blondie. Um, where's my phone? Oh my god, I hope this doesn't fall because I have this setup like really weird right now. And these are all drinks, so if it falls, we're screwed. I got the Cranberry Bliss Bar. So there's a Cranberry Bliss Tray, which I got too. And then there's a Cranberry Bliss Bar. So I wonder if it's the same thing. Um, okay, whatever. Well, we're gonna go and try the, oh my god, I think it's the same thing. A blondie cake with dried cranberries finished with a layer of cream cheese icing. Flecked with orange zest. Uh, I'm not like a citrusy kind of person. And a sparkle, oh a sparkle. A sprinkle of dried cranberries a holiday extravaganza of undeniable yum oh hell yeah okay so I think these are the same thing damn it they're the same thing I sh I didn't even have to order this okay whatever I'll save that for my family okay so this is it I'm a sucker for blondies so Okay. That's like definitely an extravaganza. <laughs> the holiday extravaganza. Okay, so I love like the blondie of it. I like the cream cheese top. I like the cranberries, but I don't like citrusy stuff. And I should have read it. I didn't know. Well, I mean, I still would have got it anyways, but the citrus is like, I don't know. To some people, it might be like a hint, but to me, it's like very overwhelming. So, okay. I have, this one is like already kind of watered down, which I ordered. I thought I ordered like pretty close to the time of pickup. So I was hoping that nothing would be like watered down, but this is. So this is a tall iced sugar cookie. I was like, what is CK? <laughs> okay, so this is a tall iced sugar cookie with almond milk. I got this with almond milk. It looks watered down. There's like red and green sprinkles on top. Okay, you know what? I am gonna get a straw for this. <gasps> Where's the straws? I hear a lot of good things about this drink, so I'm kind of excited pretty excited um i know that this is a new drink of this year oh i like that it's watered down this is really good okay so i honestly i am the type of person that always gets black coffee Occasionally, I'll get like a caramel macchiato or like, what else do I get? Like the cold brews with like the cream on top, like the salted caramel cold brew, cold foam or whatever. So I don't usually like sweet stuff is what I'm trying to say. And this is like, I don't know if it's because it's watered down. I think it's perfect watered down. So this is really good. I like it. Um, But I'm pissed. Okay, hold on. I just realized that they don't have the eggnog latte okay no i didn't just realize this i realized this when all the drinks came out and i didn't see the holiday eggnog latte in the lineup i thought maybe they just didn't have it yet like i don't know it would release at a later date but i found out last night when i was like planning this whole like video that they don't have the eggnog latte this year starbucks if you ever watch this video i'm kind of pissed about that please bring it back that was like the only drink I used to get. I love eggnog. I love eggnog latte. Actually, okay, wait, correction. I don't love eggnog by itself. 
Sometimes I do. I have to really be in like that holiday spirit. But the eggnog latte was my was my jam. Um, okay, so we have next the. <laughs> I cannot understand what the hell these are. Okay. Toasted white mocha. These sizes, okay, this is empty. I'm gonna move this. This was like for the thumbnail. These sizes are super cute. I didn't know they had these. These are like called shorts. These are like eight ounces. So I thought this would be perfect for like just taste testing everything. Oh my God, I love this. Ooh, this is really good. I kind of wish I got it. Oh, and it is oat milk. I was like, maybe that's a coffee. I'm like, it tastes kind of nutty. My lipstick is like all over the cup. Ew. Oh my god, I really like this one too. Okay, so this is off to a really good start. I thought that like the drinks would be way too sweet, but so far, I don't know if they're like watered. Did they put? I wonder if they put. Um. Okay, I don't even. Mm. Okay, I don't want to open this. I don't know if there's like, um, I know like they come with whip. So it was kind of my bad. I wanted to get more iced drinks. Um, I didn't know that for the shorts, they, I, I think what she told me, what she was trying to say, it's hard like with masks and like the plexiglass. I think she was trying to tell me that the short doesn't come in, or they don't come iced. So, yeah. Um, I kind of wish I got more like ice drinks, but that's why I did get caramel, caramel, whatever, however you say it, potato, potato, <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> okay, so um, I got this one iced. I asked for it iced because it came like hot and I was like, oh my God, I made a mistake on the app. Like, can I get this iced? And then that's when she was telling me like, okay, for the shorts, we don't do that. And I was like, oh my God, I could pay extra because I felt really bad. But you know Starbucks people, she's all like, don't worry about it. Oh my God. I was like, bless your heart, girl. She was super sweet about it. So I'm excited for this one. I know a lot of people, like my friends and stuff, who like this drink. <sighs> Since I don't have the eggnog, I'm trying to find like a new drink that I like. <sighs> I loved how the eggnog was like thick. And like, I don't know, it was really thick. Like I used to get it like with no added milk because they used to add milk to the eggnog and I used to like just say, hey, can I get the eggnog straight? Oh my God, that was so good. Oh my God, this is hella good. I feel like my reaction is like the same to all the drinks. I'm honestly blown away because like I said, I get like black coffee usually. So these are all like new to me. Okay, this is a little sweet, but see, this one came later because she made it when I was there. So I feel like the sugar cookie one, I like because it's watered down. If this was a little bit more watered down, I feel like this would be perfect for me. So, what does that taste? No, I feel like there's like a certain like something to this one. I can't put my finger on it. Oh, well, okay. I forget that this is like a caramel brulee. So I think what I'm tasting is like supposed to like mimic the brulee. I don't know. It's I. Not really my fave. It's good. It surprised me. Like it's, it's surprisingly good, but it's not my fave. Okay, what else do we have? So, let's try, oh, I need water. <laughs> See, they're like so sweet. I brought water, cause I was like, there's no way. I'm gonna make it through this without water. Um, okay, I wanna try this one. I'm like, okay, so I just downloaded TikTok and I'm trying to figure out if I wanna like, make a TikTok too in the middle of this whole thing, but eh, I'll wait. I'm no pro at this stuff. Okay, this is the Sugar Plum Danish. I don't know, Sugar Plum just sounds so cool, like, you know, the Sugar Plum Fairy. So, I'm excited about this. Oh, and it smells so good. Oh, it smells like a fresh, like, 
baked good. Like a fresh Danish. <laughs> it is a Danish. Okay, so there's like sugar plum, jelly on this, cream cheese it looks like. And it smells really good. And it feels really soft too. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just going to chill and eat this one really quick. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Okay, so it sounds moist too. I'm going to pull it apart. It's like, it made a little noise. Mm. I can't lie. I'm very picky with pastries. I'm like a carb lover. It's like the perfect amount of sweet too. Perfect texture, perfect amount of sweet. That's like a really good snack. These people are walking by like Trying to figure out why I have a camera set up. <laughs> Oops. Um. So, I'm at the same spot I was filming the other day. But now there's like a whole bunch of like cones and like tow away signs. I don't know what's going on. It's a gloomy day today. I know I was talking about in my last video that I kind of just got over the first trimester of pregnancy. Where the hell are the napkins? But yeah, I'm so excited to be back in the gym. If I could find the time for it. And I know that sounds like a lame thing to say. Like, you can make time for everything if you put your mind to it. That's what the gurus would say. But it's kind of hard. Like, especially trying to make these videos. And then, like, you know, my daughter already has, like, enough time away from me. She's not really used to it yet. <gasps> I forgot I got this. But, yeah, I'm excited to be, like, kind of getting active again because... The first trimester, okay, I can't find napkins, whatever. They didn't pack me no napkins. Um, the first trimester was, like, really hard. There was no way, like, I could be active. Like, I couldn't get up in the morning, barely. So, I'm excited to finally be active again and, like, go for more walks, even though it's, like, cold. I just don't want a jacket and stuff. Maybe walk with my daughter. Okay, actually, let me pause on that. Okay, we have this little cookie just chilling right here, too. Hmm. <laughs> funny story but my daughter is like I think she's starting to be scared of snowman snowmen snowmans snowmen she hates the little toys that turn on and like make noises like you don't have the red nose Randy or like frosty the snowman you know whatever and so my mom turned one on at Hobby Lobby and my daughter had a freaking fit well that straws in the way she screamed like from the other side of the store and I had to go get her This is a good cookie. I know I say everything's good. I have no other adjectives to use right now. <laughs> no, but this is, um, like, the texture. I'm not really a cookie person either. You know, when it comes to sweets, I'm not really into cake. I'm not really into cookies. Okay, actually, I don't know. It depends. Like, fresh baked cookies and stuff. But I'm, like, an ice cream person. This, though, is a good cookie. It's not that sweet. Like, it's not overwhelmingly sweet, but it is sweet. So if you like sweet, you'll still like it. If you're not a huge fan of things that are too sweet, you'll still like it because it's not too sweet. Okay, I think I had my two bite max with that one though. So far, that Danish is like the best thing. Okay, we have a couple of our drinks here to try. So, I hear people talking. Okay, so the chestnut praline, so this is like the hot one. Um, like I said, I had her remake it cold. Uh, I don't know if I want to try it. Okay. 
I don't know if I want to try it as I like bring it to my mouth. I was like thinking to maybe save it for like my mom or my dad, but my mom wouldn't like this. It's too sweet for her, I'm sure. Not sweet at all, actually. Oh my gosh, this is really good. You know what? Okay, wait. I'm tripping. Okay, so this I, sh I didn't try yet. I did not try yet. This is this is really good. So what I was trying to tell you guys a moment ago was I replaced the caramel brulee. I didn't replace it, but she gave me another drink. The iced one. Okay, so sorry for the confusion. I'm gonna leave that together. So I know. So this is the um, chestnut praline. And then I heard, who was I watching? I was watching another YouTuber who said that the hot version is better of a chestnut praline. I think her subscribers or her followers or something were telling her that. So that's why I was like, okay, I, I definitely want to try it hot. And it is really, really good. You know what? I think this might be, I think this might be my new favorite. Yeah, I really like that. So, so far, which ones did I really like? So I know I tried the toasted white mocha, which I like that one too. Caramel brulee is good. It's not my favorite. Sugar cookie was good. Wait, this one was good because it was watered down. Yeah, that's good. This tastes really actually like holiday-ish. Like I just want to sit by the fireplace, probably get like a hot version of this and like chill by the Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, dude, this is falling. <gasps> Good thing I caught that because these drinks would have just all fell down. Okay, let me put the, I don't know why it's like all the weight. Okay. All right, so what we have left to try is the reindeer cake pop and then the peppermint mocha. Let's go with the cake pop. They had to give me a smashed one. I guess he's not too smashed. Is that focusing? Oh, it's trying to get my face. Get the cake pop. That's a phase two. I don't even know what flavor this is. Well, we'll just try it. Mmm. fan of the texture like i think i think that's like a cake pop thing right like they're creamy or like really moist um i think like they mix the cake with like icing i think that's what they do right i don't know i'm not a baker but first of all the outside is like really sweet like you're biting into like icing and then is that like obvious like duh it's a cake pop covered in icing or frosting whatever i don't know and then the inside is like um what was that? Is this supposed to be like a blondie too? I don't know. Uh, it's like a super sweet and just the flavor wasn't really for me. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to hang out and sip on, I think, oh wait, I didn't try the peppermint yet. Okay, but I have tried this in the past. This was actually my drink before. So like before, like I was really into eggnog. This was like my drink. Like it's wine or something. Give it a little swirl. Yeah, it's still good. Still one of my faves. I don't know if it's like me being pregnant because honestly, it's funny because before all the pumpkin spice stuff released i was like raving about it on my instagram like posting on my stories like oh i can't wait for like pumpkin spice season and then like a lot of my followers are actually like messaging me saying like hey try this try that sending me a whole bunch of like recommendations and suggestions and i didn't want to be rude because like shortly after all the pumpkin spice stuff did release i got hella sick off of the pumpkin spice like flavor like excuse me I couldn't eat nothing pumpkin spice I bought like six boxes of I don't know if you guys shop at Trader Joe's but it's called like hold the cone 
and the pumpkin spice one is like so good last year like i just kept going back to buy them and like they kept getting sold out so this year when i saw them i bought like six or eight boxes and literally like five of those boxes are still like in my freezer because i had one and like i said it must be the pregnancy thing because like i couldn't eat it after that like i was just it didn't make me like gag or like throw up but i was just like I just didn't like the flavor. So, I don't know if I would order any of these again. Not because they're not good. We'll see. We'll see what my cravings do. My cravings have been really interesting this, like, time around. I was debating on trying this again. The little Cranberry Bliss Blondie. Oh, I could already smell the orange. Yeah, and I'm not really picky, guys, so sorry if I sound like I'm hella picky. There's just, like, a couple things that I'm not really into. Like, citrusy, citrus in food, like, in a cake. I'm trying to think. Like, I like lemon cake. I like, like, lemon bundt cakes. I like lemon crepes. But I don't know, like, mixed all together, I, I think, like, I like it by itself. This is good. I think I'm gonna save this for someone at home though. That taste kind of reminded me of something for a second. I can't remember. So many drinks. I can't even remember. Okay, I like the sugar cookie one, watered down. So yeah, I'm really upset that Starbucks got rid of the eggnog. I know I mentioned that a couple times already, but you know what? I wonder why. I still don't have a freaking napkin. Disappointed Starbucks dropped its eggnog latte. It's still on the secret menu? This was published three days ago, this article. Okay, so I'm not going to go through this whole article, but basically... Okay, so wait. It doesn't look like it's really the eggnog latte. It looks like it's kind of like like an eggnog latte dupe. Because it's kind of telling you how to order it here. Like, an iced eggnog latte needs an iced chai latte. And an additional pump of caramel. Well, a frappuccino requires... Of course, the drink is an official service. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna get lost in this article, so let's not. So I guess I really like all of them except the caramel brulee, which don't come for me if you guys love that drink because I know a lot of people do. Um, as for the pastries, the reindeer cake pop is not really my thing, but I know a lot of people who would love that because it's like sweet. It has like that cake poppy tech cake poppy cake poppy texture that I know um, a lot of cake pop lovers like you know that danish is like halfway gone but i'll take one more bite and then save the rest for later it's like so good this is going to be gone like by the time i get home probably so definitely try that one if you guys have not tried that you need to like try it asap all right guys that's it for today's video honestly i had so much fun trying all these starbucks drinks with you guys pick up that danish if you guys haven't tried it yet because it's honestly so good i'll be for sure finishing that on my way home we're actually putting up the christmas tree today so these are going to be perfect to get in that like holiday spirit holiday cheer probably throw on some mariah carey ariana grande justin bieber you guys know the drill and enjoy all of these drinks i am pregnant by the way before you guys say like oh my god you're not supposed to be having caffeine please don't come for me you can have a little bit of caffeine i'm not gonna finish all of these i had caffeine throughout my whole first pregnancy and my baby is so happy and so healthy so don't worry i know what i'm doing ah! i'll be fine i'll just be a little wired but you know what all moms need energy so Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me along on this journey. And if you guys have any suggestions of what I can eat next, let me know. Let me know which one is your favorite drink as well. And if you guys have some weird concoction or like something unique, let me know. Because I know people really come up with some interesting things for like Starbucks drinks. So yeah, I'd be down to try what you guys are having over there. All right, have a good one. Bye.